Well, hello everyone. I am super excited because I just completed all of my functional health test, uh, blood tests and urine tests. So I tested with functionhealth.com, uh, Dr. Mark Hyman, medical doctor, who's very holistic, very functional medicine. Him and a few others created this group where we can get the proper medical testing. So I had to, last Tuesday, I had to give 12 vials of blood while on my monthly cycle because I still have monthly cycles every four weeks. And so if you're female and that is you, then you do have to test while you're on your cycle. You also have to fast for at least eight hours. And so I just went early in the morning and then today, a week later, I had to retest and get 12 more vials of blood plus give a urine sample. So I'm so excited that I'm finally done and everything has been submitted and in about two weeks, I will get my test results. And the reason these tests are so special is because it really tests what you're supposed to get tested. It's very detailed. It's not just the basic medical blood panels that don't tell you much. Really, those tests are set up just to, to medicate you. I really want to find out if I do have any issues, if there's anything I can correct naturally, holistically, help my body be healthier. So I'm just going to give you a, a few examples. I mean, there's a hundred different tests that they did, so I don't have time to explain all of them. You can also go to functionhealth.com and they give you a list of everything and explain what it is. But one that I'm really excited about um, is a cholesterol testing. They do it the correct way. It's not those just those basic four numbers of overall cholesterol, HDL, uh, LDL, and triglycerides. So a really important one they do that almost all medical doctors do not do is lipoprotein A. Um, so I'm just going to read it to you from the website. About 50% of the people who suffer heart attacks have normal considered healthy cholesterol levels. Considering this, many cardiologists believe LPA, lipoprotein A, to be the major driver of cardiac events. Yet, if you get a typical blood panel with your health insurance, they're not going to test this. Uh, this invaluable test is used by specialists, but not yet widely widely adopted in primary care. LPA is a genetic marker that determines risk, particularly for those with symptoms or with a family history of cardiovascular disease. Lipoprotein are made of lipid fats and proteins, energy, and are referred to as sticky proteins. So there could be some people that have, oh, you have high cholesterol like me on a regular typical med medical blood test, but if your lipoprotein A is very good, your LDL particle size are soft and fluffy, that means nothing. Uh, everyone is a little bit different in their numbers, right? And so mine always typically are a little bit high and I really like that because my brain needs cholesterol. I am getting older, I'm 53 now. I should be going through menopause sometime, I haven't yet. Um, but that's how we make our hormones, through cholesterol and healthy adrenals. So obviously that number is gonna go up a little bit. Um, so like I said, they also test the LDL particle size. Your LDL number doesn't matter, high or low, it's the particle size that matters. So you want that particle size to be soft and fluffy and not hard and dense, and then you know you have good cholesterol. And they're also testing my biological age, which I'm super excited to find out about. How many bad fats I have in my body compared to good fats, so omega-6 to omega-3. I mean, not all omega-6 is bad, but most of what people are eating are trans fats, seed oils, fast food, all the, the unhealthy omega-6. Most people are getting a huge amount of omega-6 and not omega-3. So I can't wait to see that as well. And there's so much more, um, but this testing only costs $499. I have no idea how they did this. It's worth at least a thousand. And then I'm going to get my protocols and my results in about two weeks. And then I retest again in six months and I don't have to pay any extra. So that's one test and I'm going to share when I get my results. I'll share everything. I have a feeling on a few of them. I want to see what my rheumatoid arthritis numbers are going to be. I'm probably going to have antibodies showing thyroid, but I, I believe that's just related to the rheumatoid arthritis because I don't have any thyroid issues. 
And then the other test I do uh, through my own lab, Mosaic Lab DX, it's the one I use in my own office. That is another very, very important test because it tests mitochondria health, glutathione levels, amino acids, uh, CoQ10. Do you have any like bad bacteria, yeast overgrowth in your gut? Um, it, it tests neurological health. So those are also very important because most cancer is mitochondria dysfunction. And so what most people do is they get chemo or radiation or they do surgery. And I'm not saying you should not do that, but you already have mitochondria dysfunction if you have cancer. And then when you put a lot of chemicals on top of that, you're destroying your mitochondria even more. And so you actually need to rebuild the mitochondria. So your chances of getting cancer again will be very low. You don't want that cancer to come back. But if you just continue destroying your mitochondria, then your chances of cancer coming back are very high and very likely. And so that's why the organic acid test is very important. I try to teach uh, my health clients how to prevent cancer in the first place and not even get cancer. And But if you do, you really want to be confident that, that you can put that into remission and not be living scared that, oh, maybe it's gonna come back in a few years. So the organic acid test is also very important. That test is $420 through me. Um, you can come to my office for a pre-consult. I can ship you a test and we can do a virtual pre-consult just to get you registered and to show you how to uh, do the test and send it off. This is a urine test. And then a couple weeks later, you get your results back. I get them first. It's about a 13 page report. And then I go through it and I type up protocols and explanations in a way that you can understand. And then we try to get you really healthy and correct any deficiencies. And it's pretty amazing. I did the organic test, um, organic acid test about nine and a half months ago. And there's 76 tests or markers that it tests for. I have three areas of concern. I had a rabinose yeast in my gut which I was not surprised at all from being a sugar addict. Um, I didn't have any other types of yeast or bacteria, but that arabinose yeast was malfunctioning one area of mitochondria health. They test all the areas in the Krebs cycle, you know, the little factory system in your mitochondria. All the others were working well. My glutathione was very good. Everything was excellent. But the one that really threw me for a loop was my vitamin C was almost at zero. I think I even had a mild form of scurvy and didn't realize it. When I would floss, my, my gums would slightly bleed. That's a telltale sign of low vitamin C. And um, you should be 10 to 200, and I was at 1.5 for vitamin C. So I had to start supplementing with a good vitamin C. Never use ascorbic acid. That's from some synthetic GMO corn. And so I do need to retest organic acids also. But anyways, both of those tests will cost you $920. I know Function Health takes health savings account, HSA. Uh, mine does not, but save your money. Even if you save 100 bucks a month after 10 months, you'll have the money for it. And you're going to get all the right testing. And all these people try to help you be healthy. We don't just prescribe medications or treat symptoms. We really try to help you heal and repair. So I'm really excited. In a couple weeks, I'm going to share my results. And I hope you guys will get the test also. Contact Function Health for their testing. And then you can email me about the organic acid test.